Hey, it's Liam from Tinnitus Treatment. Welcome to another video. And today I'm going to talk about tinnitus relief. And I've done a bit of a video on this before, but and if you're wondering why you should be listening to what I have to say, I've currently helped over 150 people. I'm about to clock the 200 mark. I used to have tinnitus. I got it from nose trauma, helping other people online get rid of theirs. I've helped people with nose trauma, stress, prescription medication, physical injuries, pretty much everything you could imagine. So I'm helping them, so I'm sure I can help you as well. I'm positive I can. So since I've been helping all these people, I'm realizing a common theme between those who get better and those who don't get better. And it's not about the medication they take. It's not about the particular noise in their ear. It's not about their age or gender. It's not about how long they've had it for. It's not about what the doctor says. It's not about the fact that they can't get perfectly clean water. It's not about their height. It's not about their weight. It's not about the size of their feet, the color of their hair, or how bald they are, or anything like that. It's about something more internal, but it's about your mental state. It's, it's about belief. It's about belief that you can stick with the system. Not everybody I help succeeds with my advice. It's just the way that it goes. I'm not a miracle worker. But everybody who fails has one thing in common. They give up. They get overwhelmed and they give up. And that's fine. You know, it's, it's a, it's, it, tinnitus is very overwhelming. But what I want to do is read a passage from this really great book of this guy. He's advised politicians. He's advised presidents, doctors. He helps people get into the proper mental state to basically succeed in their life. And it sounds a bit woo-woo, but... That's kind of how he markets himself, I guess you could say, but he's a self-help guy. And you probably the book cover is awful, I know, but it's it's Tony Robbins, you know, we're waking a giant with him. But, you know, I, you're probably thinking this is ridiculous, like, why would this help? But he's written something so smart in this book, and it's it ties in so cleverly with what's going on with people who I help who don't succeed in getting rid of tinnitus that I just have to share it with you, and I'll try and sum it up really quickly, so I apologize if you've read this book already, but I really think it's worth listening to again, okay? So this is about beliefs and let's just break it down, okay? So achievers rarely, if ever, see a problem as permanent, while those who fail see even the smallest problems as permanent. Is this ringing a bell yet? Once you adopt the belief that there's nothing you can do to change something, simply because nothing you've done up until now has changed it, you start to take a pernicious poison into your system that eventually kills you. Now, pernicious means uh, essentially that it's a, it's a slight poison that kills you slowly over time. An example of a pernicious poison would be something like tobacco, smoking for 30 years and dying you know, 10 years after that, or if you worked with asbestos and you worked with asbestos and then 40 years later you had cancer, something like that. Now, this is probably ringing a bell, but I'm going to get to the, the fact where it will actually help you, okay? So, the second difference between winners and losers those who are optimistic and pessimistic, see basically what he said there, winners and losers, optimi and I know this is so true because it relates to my story as well. Um, the difference between uh, those who are optimistic and pessimistic is their beliefs about the pervasiveness of problems. Now, pervasiveness essentially means how much a problem interrupts your life, okay? It's tinnitus in a nutshell, right? This is literally describing tinnitus. Um, an achiever never sees a problem as being pervasive. That is, that one problem controls their whole life. They always see it as, well, it's just a little challenge with my eating pattern. They don't see it as, I'm the problem. Because I overeat, my whole life is destroyed. And on the other side of the coin, those who are pessimistic, losers, those who have learned helplessness, well, that's not important, but um, have developed a belief that they have screwed up in one area and therefore are a screw up entirely. Now, let me break down the third one, which I think is the real kicker. And this is the final category of belief. Um, and it's the personal side of belief. So if we don't see a failure as a challenge to modify our approach, but rather as a problem with ourselves, as a personality defect, we will immediately feel overwhelmed. So that's it. Let me break that down real quick and then we'll get to how it's secondly help you. So the personality defect um, idea is that, let's say for example, you're a drug addict and you take heroin every day with your buddies in the crack house. And every day you wake up and your friends are like, yeah, we should all get heroin Let's go spend our money on drugs and get high today and just do nothing else. Um, or go rob, rob somebody and steal their wallet and just get high. Now, you can, you can think of this in two ways. You can think, oh, I'm just such a, you know, I'm, my personality is so bad. It's not me. It's, you know, I'm just a, sorry, it, it is me. I'm such a bad person. I can't fix this. Instead of thinking, maybe I shouldn't hang out with these crackheads if I don't want to be a crackhead. You see what I'm getting at there? So if you think that, um, oh, I kind of understand what Liam's saying about, you know, fasting and all this stuff and a diet, but it's just not me and my parents won't 
approve of it or my kids won't approve of it or there's no one supporting me. First of all, I'll support you to send me an email. And secondly, just get out of that scenario. But don't think that it's your fault. The th- here's the thing, guys. With tinnitus, most of the time, it's really not your fault. It's not your fault. There's so many... There's First of all, there's not enough awareness about tinnitus. And secondly, there's so many businesses out there who will push medications, hearing aids, binaural beats, or brain retraining, earpieces, earplugs, acupuncture, uh, massaging, all this crap. And they'll put money into um, product development to try to sell you that stuff, but where they don't put money is in the actual obvious solution, which is the clinical trials for fasting, which I hope when I have enough money, it's the first thing I'm gonna do is get a bunch of you guys in a room and lock you away for like five days and <laughs> test, not that, not that harsh, but lock you away for a long time. And not, okay, I'm not gonna do that, but I wanna do clinical trials on fasting. That's besides the point. Just remember guys, it's not your fault. And you also on the other side of the coin, you might be thinking, but Liam, I'm, I don't have any of those problems. I'm, um, I'm motivated, my family supports me, I'm, my, I'm financially sound, I don't have many stresses in my life, but I, you know, I got in a car accident, I have tinnitus. Fantastic. Here's what I want you to do. Click the link below this video. It's gonna take you to my website, Liam Stops Tinnitus, and it's gonna give you a free guide which is gonna get you started on fasting. Now, one thing about that, um, guys, don't just go willy-nilly and start cranking out the fasting because one or two things is gonna happen. First thing is you can actually hurt yourself, okay? You can actually damage your kidneys if you fast for too long, especially if you've never fasted before. So take it easy. I'll explain more about that in a second. Second thing is you might do it wrong, and you might actually um, get no results at all, even though you think you're doing it right, but you're not, and then you'll get demotivated, and you'll say, oh, well, Liam was just, a, he doesn't know what he's talking about, I'm not gonna follow his stuff, and then you'll miss out on the chance to get rid of tonight. So you could either hurt yourself or do it wrong. So please, I'm gonna send you the free ebook, put your email address in, I'll send it to you automatically, I've got this guy to set this whole thing up. And then the next day, I'm gonna send you another bit of information and so on and so on because I'm gonna break it down in bite-sized pieces because you need to understand how to do it. So don't just go willingly jumping into it. You have gotta understand the process. It has to be in the right order. So guys, this has been about tinnitus relief and the best way to get tinnitus relief, in my personal opinion, is to download my free guide, start using it, start implementing it and just believe that you can do it. I know it sounds silly, but you just have to have the belief that something, and I know it's frustrating because nothing's worked and everyone says you can't do it. Um, also, avoid tinnitustalk.com. If you want to succeed, you should never, ever, ever, ever go on tinnitustalk.com. That should be illegal, that website. The shit that I see on there, it's just a shit storm. It should be 100% illegal. The amount, it, you can, a person who's optimistic can go on there and just get crushed internally, and I'm sure you guys have felt that, that weight on your shoulder of people going, oh, it's just, it's never going to work. And don't trust me. I've posted on Reddit and tinnitustalk.com and all these um, Astro- Australian Institute of Tinnitus. People don't want a solution. As soon as I post something like that, they'll just delete it. They'll just delete the whole thing. And that's, that's why I did this YouTube channel. But, but besides the point, guys, this has been Tinnitus Relief. I hope this helps. Uh, click the video below. So click the link below for more information and talk soon.